Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing One Piece chapter 1011 or 1011. Uh, I read it when the unofficial came out and I saw the backlash that some people um, had towards it. But now that the official is out, let's give it a read and see just what's going on. Um, and yeah, let's dive straight into this review. Um, so this week One Piece was part of the cover of a jump as well and it had Luffy on the cover and he was holding what seems to be a lamp with a genie in it and the genie was a skull and crossbones. So there's that and it also mentioned something about um, the battle heating up between um, Luffy and Day. And now let's jump directly into the chapter. So again, spoiler warning before we begin, last chance. So yeah. So basically this chapter starts off and we get a color page spread and it's all of the straw hats eating soft serve ice cream and it has a little caption next to it and it says it's difficult to think anything but pleasant towards while eating a soft serve and it's a cool nice little picture nothing over the top um, just all the straw hats enjoying some ice cream then we jump straight into the chapter and we see kid killer and big mom at it basically and kid and um killer mentioned that remember last chapter they mentioned clouds was looking kind of funny um so we see kind of big mom has this little spark while she's out there and kid and killer decide to run off they say let's clear out of here and um we see kid mentions that um he thought he captured the lightning one being zeus before so that implies that big mom created the next lightning woman um also the name of this chapter is called the code of sweet beans um so yeah and then we finally see that big mom did actually create this new homie um we don't get to see the me in full glory essentially but we see big mom what is going to attack with what seems to be a handful of lightning um and she calls out to the new power of course and she says time to test you out Hera so Hera is the name of this new homie um some symbolism to the name as well like all the other um homies that she had um Hera was of course a Greek god um the wife of Zeus um and we know Zeus was lightning, so I guess that's why she named this one Hera. But we do get one thing with Hera. We see the lips because it says, Oh ho ho, yes, mama, before it attacks. And we see feminine lips, or what seems to be lipstick, so I can assume that Hera is female. And Big Mom wants some big, huge attack right to the side of the skull, and it's called Fulgora. Um, I'm not sure if Fulgora is a reference to anything, but um, basically when she hits Skid, she hits Skid so hard that basically his Faraday cage that he made to trap Zeus falls apart and Law notices and he's like, um, Kid must have his hand folded and Law proceeds to teleport. So he teleports out of, um, on top of the rooftop, him, Zoro, and he teleports Zeus as well. So more foreshadowing with Zeus here. We get a brief little conversation with Kaido and Luffy next. And this is basically um Kaido telling Luffy that um he seems to be happy and enjoying despite the more dangerous it gets. And both of them clash again. Um so we get Kaido swinging his Kanombo and Luffy trying to kick. And of course they're not touching and we see the sparks emanating. We still don't see any clouds parting really, but um we see the big explosion and then we cut now to inside of Onigashima. And this now is where Kid and um, Killer Arc as Big Mom knock them straight into there. And who else shows up but um, Hawkins. And Hawkins tries to attack them with his straw sword. And we basically get a quick little dialogue between them. And basically Kid, um, Kid tells Hawkins that, um, you know, we have to hurry to go and get Big Mom. And Hawkins said, um, basically Hawkins and Kid talk and um, Kid is kind of telling him, basically, you know, you slithered out of here to try and finish us off and you betrayed us. And um, he 
he kind of tried to uh, walk against telling me, you know, I didn't really betray you. It was Apple who did that. And I just avoided this fight by choosing the best odds based on my cards. Um, so basically, he's saying, you know, I just picked the best out of the situation so I wouldn't die. Um, but this leads to um, basically Hawkins pulling out his big straw man. Is it called the straw man? But the big scarecrow thing that he did that he did earlier on in the arc against Zoro. Um, and this leads Killer to tell him Kid to go ahead and go after Big Man. He will deal with Hawkins. Um, of course, uh, Hawkins goes goes ahead then and says that Killer has only like a ninety two percent chance of winning this fight. Um, and Killer tells him, you know, I don't need to depend on your odds basically or wish for luck to win. So I'm assuming this is going to be the turning point for Hawkins because. He has predicted basically that Killer is going to die. So I'm going to assume this will lead to all a battle between them. And Killer will prove Hawkins' um, cards wrong. And this will lead to Hawkins changing sides. And when we see Hawkins and Killer again, more than likely they will go to help Kid take on Big Mom. Maybe. Because the end of this chapter, we don't know what is going to happen with Big Mom yet. So let's see how that but I assume this fight is going to lead to Hawkins changing sides to join Luffy and the Alliance. Um, we then cut to Tama and Usopp and Nami and Komachio. I'll be honest with you all, I kind of lost interest in this whole Nami Usopp versus Ulti page one fight. It's been really annoying and it takes away from the story. I know people might hate me saying that, but I just dislike the coward trio. Chopper was part of the coward or the weakling trio and he stepped up and did something while these two are just screaming and running. Um, so to me that sucks. That is pretty trash. Um, so I dislike that a lot. But we basically see um, Usopp is trying to get page one off of them. So he's hitting him with his staff in the eye, in the nose, in the throat, in the chest, all over. And Nami is telling him, try hitting him here, try hitting him there. Nami is useless here. Um, and Usopp pulls out one of his attacks. I give Usopp prop. Oh, to be honest, I will give Usopp props for this because he's been fighting still, even though I don't like this type of running away fighting style. Whereas Nami has just been, eh? But Usopp tries to fire off one of his attacks and it's super hot and he tells them that, um, his attacks aren't made for close range combat, um, so that is why. We see him firing off a few attacks like his green star and a firework attack. Um, but something to notice here is Usopp says his attacks aren't meant for close range. And I'm going to assume after this big war, he may consider getting a new weapon to add to his arsenal for close range combat. Because this proves that um, Usopp is basically a one-trick pony in that aspect where he's a sniper and a sniper only and if someone gets close to him there's no way for him to really um be able to defend himself we saw this with his fight with luffy as well we on early in the series where luffy closed the gap and that was it for usopp so hopefully usopp gets some sort of weapon for close range combat later on but while running away after firing this attack, they run into Big Mom, and Big Mom is stamping around and calling out for Kid. So she's like, come on out, Kid, come on out, Kid, where are you, Kid? And Usopp and Nami see uh, Big Mom, and they're shocked as usual and scared. And Big Mom notices them, and she's like, long nose, cat burglar, um, you're part of the Straw Hats. Um, but this is where things take a turn, and Tama calls out to Big Mom. She's like, hi Olin, hi Olin, just like that. And Big Mom kind of snaps out of this rage mode that she was in after Kid. And she's like, oh, it isn't safe here, Tama. Why are you here? Um, she was, And Tama begins to tell her, you know, she's worried about her. And um, she didn't see her since Udon. And we get confirmation from Prometheus now that Big Mom goes into this type of mothering mode. When she's around little kids in the unofficial translation it said under 10 but i'm going to assume 
this is a better translation here because they say with little kids and that is something natural in the real world with some adults going when they're around kids they go into this instinctive parental mode even if it's not your own you go into this parental mode to see about kids and make sure they're okay and saying that big mom has over 80 kids um that is a given that she would have this mood for younger kids or this instinct this motherly instinct to bring it out of her when she's with little kids we haven't seen it before of course because remember all of her kids at the moment are adults so um she basically talks to tama and um ask her you know again she tells her it's dangerous why you here um and she thanks her for helping her when she had lost her memory and for giving her the um oshiruku and seeing about her basically during her amnesia but tama also ends up telling big mom that um you know the people at okabori town who fed you and all of that they were um they were basically prosecuted by kaido and his men and the area was destroyed and all of that um because of helping um Luffy and them and for all of that other stuff in the arc beforehand and Big Mom kind of loses it now and she's like Kaido's followers did that so again she's not really blaming Kaido but she's blaming his followers and she proceeds to say um basically you know this these people were nice to me how could Kaido men do this and she kind of goes on what seems to be a angry rampage uh get it rampage page one and we see page one sees her as she bends the corner and she's angry and basically page one goes into attack nami and Usopp, and big mom pulls out an attack we see her hand is coated in armament but something to notice here she punches page one but when she punches him we see she hits the air what seems to me kind of like what Luffy did in the previous chapter of two ago when he got back up and hit Kaido with the Conqueror's version of um, an attack but he quoted this attack in Conqueror's um so big mommy also even though um we're basically even though we're pirates we still have a code so she says there's still a code of honor um and she calls them clowns and does this Conqueror's attack um it seems at least like a conqueror attack on the way it's um drawn here and of course we see zeus in the background here and he's like oh it's mama she's still alive so that's one thing i'll talk about that just now as well as big mom here. and basically the chapter ends with all these saying um pp and she um basically sees page one get wrecked and the chapter ends there <coughs> um so pause the chapter ends our next chapter is on may 3rd so we have a break this week coming um so yeah now let's dive into all of this so <clears throat> big mom having a code is a good thing um we see that essentially she's not as unstable well kind of is but we see that she still has a code kind of like how luffy has a so we see some pirates do have codes and this is her code basically um so that's a plus we still didn't get a full look at hera in this episode here. well not episode but in this chapter so we don't know what hera actually looks like so there's that we get zeus coming in in time here now and kid as well because kid saw big mom and he's like she's over there but <clears throat> Kid aside, we'll get back to Kid after because I'm assuming next chapter he may run into her. But uh, Zeus now, I'm wondering what's his, what's going to be Zeus's reaction when he sees Hera. Um, and if Big Mom is going to absorb Zeus, or is Zeus going to basically throw a fit or temper tantrum like a little kid because he acts like a little kid and go with Nami. That's interesting. And as I said before, I don't like this whole running and fighting thing with Usopp and Nami. I get Usopp is a sniper, he needs to be far to fight. So again, I'm hoping he gets a new weapon. But Nami needs something because honestly, I dislike 
her way of fighting. So hopefully she gets her power up so she can stand up to somebody at least. But um, all in all, I thought this was like a chapter. I saw people hating the big mom thing. I understand it. Uh, of course, like I said, when adults are around children, they kind of change to try to nurture or be protectors of children and uh, care for them. So it's understandable. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Um, as I said, no review next week um, because of course no chapter. So I may do something else or discussion. So yeah, I'll see you all.